One final game to bring you on Saturday night here at Coventry Stadium. It is the last remaining men's quarter-final between Australia and Samoa. Here they come. Nick Malouf leads out the Aussie Sevens. Samu Karevi injured out of this match. No Corey Tool. he's on the bench. So Mark Awanganita Wasi gets a start. The Samoa look to Afasua, Maliko and Mataval, the co-captains. Scanlon and Onasai have scored nine tries between them this tournament. Nick Hogan from New Zealand is your referee for this one. The winner will play South Africa in tomorrow morning's semi-final. Australia, Britain, Samoa, three times on the most recent World Series. But they've had a tricky tournament, a big 62-0 win to start their tournament against Jamaica, but then drew with Uganda and had a narrow two-point win over Kenya. Dietrich Roach gets us underway. Australia, left to right, Samoa in their blue shirts, knock on from Samoa. So it'll be Aussie Sevens who set the scrum. Rob Vickerman alongside on commentary. Samoa are in form. You're backing them here. They're looking so good this tournament, Rupert. The way they've started their games has been sensational. A gripping 72% of all their points coming from the first half, and that's why Australia were celebrating so strongly getting the ball back. That has spent hours preparing details as to how to combat the restart from Samoa. And now they get a chance to try and get Roach to pull the strings in the middle. Sama chasing still the first medal at a Commonwealth Games. Australia fifth on the Gold Coast four years ago. Would dearly love to be playing for the medals on finals day tomorrow. Dale has been turned turtle and put on his backside. Good defensive work from Sioni. Sioni with the old school DDT. Pulling out a bit of WWF wrestling in his skill set. I'm sure Matty Gonzalez thought that was completely legal, but mm. Samoa will be able to kick to the sideline here. There's their record two wins, just a very narrow loss to New Zealand. They led that game by 17 points before the All Black Sevens came back. And here it is. Like Triple H, Stone Cold Stunner. Yeah, not good. That's dangerous. I'm surprised that TMO didn't have a look at that one. That's not straight. And Paul Scanlon bangs the ball on the floor. Australia will set a scrum on the 15 metre line. They are the London Sevens champions, Australia. Good start, same thing. They're slightly off kilter, though. You mentioned it, Rupert. Splendid start against Jamaica, then really struggled against Uganda. Should have lost. There's a kick to win the game for Uganda, the penalty. And then 7 5 it was against Kenya, which was a real battle. So they need to find their equilibrium again. Gonzalez down the short side. He's got Josh Turner with him. Another heavy tackle coming in from Scanlon, trying to make up for that error at the line out. Here's Dietrich Roach. Dietrich Roach, great feet and a long stride. He's eating up the meters. Scanlon, though, with a brilliant cover tackle. Copybook stuff from the Samoa number 10. And he comes away with it now as well. They've won back possession. Manu Samoa had 10 debutants when they returned to the World Series in Singapore back in April. And Brian Lima, their head coach, has done brilliant work with them. Mataval now is Maliko. Leads the team in carries, offloads, and tackles and line breaks. He does it all for Manu Samoa. Scanlon to Nue. Tries to put a bit of footwork on and then coming on a sharp line with Steve Onasai. Real try scoring threat for Samoa. Scanlon again. Drops it but goes backwards. Mataval. Asua just gets a little bit isolated and Gonzalez does well. Here's Nathan Lawson for Australia. Noanga Nitawasi. The youngster with a start, here's his skipper. Good tackle on him again by Owen Nua. Here's Final Lawson again. And shoved back to the halfway line, but just buying themselves a little space here. 
Josh Turner, short ball to Gonzalez. It was forward, but they had the advantage. They go back for the penalty. Oh, Turner giving the old hands out, appealing to the assistant Offside. referee. No chance. Definitely forward. Take a step. Step. Can't complain with that one, but tell you what, already we're seeing some pretty big hits, some pretty impressive contests over the ball. These two teams going at it, know each other well. A wry smile from Josh Turner. Lanko, Australia, a really challenging Samoa. Let's go. They play well, Australia, when they keep that ball off the floor. Okay. Their offloading game is strong. And Gonzalez gets it started. Here's Turner to Henry Hutchison. Been around the Aussie 7 scene for a good while now. Rookie of the season back in 2016 as a teenager. They get the penalty again. Here's Turner. Dietrich Roach shooting out of the line was up for Sua. Wanganita Wasi gets the offload to Nathan Lawson and he's in the corner. I haven't given it yet and he slams the floor. Perhaps lost control. A 101 Lawson of try scoring. Pretend you've scored it even if you haven't. I it. Checking try, yes or no. So much in the body language. Here's the slap out. And that's man he's lost it. Maliko, that is a worldie. Try saver extraordinaire. Oh, what a play. Never give up. Yes. Yes. Nick, yes. have a decision. Yes. Ball is not grounded. Yes. And it's not backwards. Yes. So therefore, yes, scrub five, attacking ball. Thank you. So no well. try. Yeah, lost backwards. That was a prime attacking opportunity. They did everything so right. Really right up until the final moment. No, because because they went whistle, backwards. There is a the reprise. Lost, okay? To check the grounding. They're just checking it. Because it then technically is still in play at this point. Loss is looking. Doesn't quite get there. Blow Rico slaps it out. That ball is still live. Still live. Wow, I mean, that could have been a real faux pas from Samoa. Well, two chances for Australia to score that try. Got to credit Malika with the tackle. Six. Gonzalez, that's the feet of the scrap, five minutes out. Final two minutes of this first half, scoreless so far. The quarter-final, Roach, long ball. Over to Noanga Nitawasi. Flicks it back off the floor to Roach and... Matavao came in with a big hit for Samoa. Australia still have it somehow. I want Anita Wasi. You're holding this him. This rookie in the team. You're holding him. Thought he had rights to run clear there, but it's penalty Samoa. Well, that is gamesmanship. Referee's called. Your player's holding him. Josh Turner, him to you. I think it was, holding the player holding past the point of contact. It's a real discreet play. Josh Turner, you see him over the top of the breakdown now. He's holding in the defender. That's slightly. Slightly nuanced, I think he's part of the breakdown there. If you're part of the rook, you can keep hold of him. If he's not, then you do have to let him go. Contest perhaps, but still this game remains nil-nil. And so much rugby has been played. Nick Hogan doesn't miss much the referee, does he? That was something you see players get away with all the time. There you go, repeating that stat you mentioned, Vix. 72% of their points have been scored in the first half. Remember to have a 17-0 lead against New Zealand, losing the game by two. Turn over at the line out for the Aussie Sevens. Here's Dietrich Roach. And Corey Tool is off the bench. He's got searing pace. The ACT Brumby inside to Turner. It's gone forward. Again, opportunity miss for Australia. They can't keep missing these guilt edge opportunities. Oh, penny for your thoughts on that little transaction. The eyes of Josh Turner. Corey Tool on the outside. Not starting this guy, it's a big call, John Manetti. That's the tactician. Just not able to get that ball in front of Turner. Overran it slightly. Small part of the game. But another opportunity for Australia being left out there. That's two now. You don't get many against Samoa. Two at least. Siren for half time. Turnover at the scrum for Australia. They've got it back again, Roach. Coming in, trying to make a big hit again. Gonzalez, Hutchison now. 
He's got his captain, Malouf, to his right. Fasua goes in, tries the counter ruck as well. Penalty, oh, Samoa. Yeah, the player on the floor just holding on to the ball a bit too long. Hutchison, really good defensive work at the breakdown from Samoa. Can they score before half-time? Matavau decides to kick. Malouf herring back for Australia. But it's fallen into the hands of Samoa. Goes forward. Australia now on the counter-attack. There was a ball went forward. But again, a player's been taken out off the ball. And Manu Samoa will have the penalty. Here's Afasua. Maliko. It'll be richly deserved if he could score a try after his defensive efforts in this game. Afasua. Yes, indeed. Just tripped down by offside three. Turner offside yeah, again. Yeah. Australia. And Afasua wants to go quickly. He's going to have to take it from the mark or directly behind. A proud voice, their opinion. Seven. I think I might join a boo on yeah. that one. That was on the fly, wasn't it? They Offside. just want to play. Referee wearing out the whistle at times, but he is meticulous. All about fluidity this game. Matavel, he's a genius at that. Offloads the ball off the floor. That's gone forward, and that will be that for the first half. It will remain scoreless. A round of applause from the fans here at Coventry Stadium. They recognise the efforts of both of these teams. It remains in the balance between Australia and Samoa. Way. So much effort been put in, yet the scores are still nil-nil. Different teams, but if you look through the history, Australia have won two bronze medal matches at Commonwealth Games against Samoa in 98. 2014 in Glasgow. Back underway, second half. Matabau sends it high to the far side. Didn't go yeah, the 10. Geez. Australia will get the free kick on the centre spot. More possession for the Aussie Sevens. And that was a big play. Samoa have built their foundations this tournament on that restart to give it away straight away to a team who had a large proportion of possession in that first half. Will be an error, but it's up to Australia now to assess, look at their options and get their power plays in this game. Roach is the man to look for. Still no Morris Longbottom for Australia. He's on the bench. Here's Hutchison. Cuts inside off his wing. Mafasua puts him down. Look for the turnover. That the was Falaniko. Maloof to Turner. Back inside to his captain. Mafasua's tracked him all the way across field. Here's Corey Tool. Picks it up from the base. Yeah, thinks about going himself. Gives it to Roach. Here's Lawson now. Missed the chance in the first half, Gonzalez, lovely ball inside to Corey Tool, brilliant step, stands in the tackle, one more pass might do it, the step from Gonzalez. Matty Gonzalez from the Eastwood Club in Sydney gets the first points of this cup quarter final. Look how this try was built up, Tool started way out on the, on the sideline, almost on the touchline. He finds his way in field, he's such a threat with ball in hand, talking about the Australian offloading game, that's their strength. The Samoans are trying to defend those offloads, but trying to account for that second, third attacker is so difficult, and now Australia do bring out their box of tricks off the sideline. Dietrich Roach, an 81% goal kicker on the series, makes no mistake, they get the maximum. Great story, this guy, picked up by John Manetti, he used to coach at Eastwood in Sydney, he watched the Tokyo Olympics from his garage did Matt Gonzalez fine finish and he's been replaced now but Maurice Longbottom comes on and this guy is pretty special at sevens yeah timely intervention too from John Manetti right after you score you bring on the creativity of Longbottom but that restart from Roach who's so good in that department usually just hands possession back to Samoa both of these teams clearly focused on that area to the point where the pressure's piled on. Samoa in no rush, taking a scrum. They like a split attack, and that man with a ball in the hand, Matavau, can't miss him. He's got the red scrum out on. He is the danger man. Yeah, he's played 15s and 7s for Samoa. Crouch! That's a pretty humble background. 
Six. Here he goes. Off to the races. Good tackle from Hutchison. How did he get away from that scrum so quickly? Good chop tackle from Turner as well. Scanlon now tries to spin. Falanico does really well to hold on to the ball. He got a penalty as well. Hutchison put his hands on the floor. You've got to support your own body weight. Maliko now. Lawson and Tool. Advantage was coming. Ten, it's going to be a card, in. I think. Not in. Not in. Nick Maloof, the captain. Well, he's looking in disbelief. The crowd aren't necessarily agreeing with that one either. Not ten meters ten. has been the call. Uh, we might get another look at it, but and quickly here it is. So Malouf approaching the 22 meter line. I mean, in theory, no one in Australia there is anywhere near 10 meters. I can't say it's necessarily always the case in sevens. It's a loose 10 meters. That's a big call. In the quarter final, yes, it is. Samoa with the power play. Here's Matava. Can he unpick this Aussie defense? Heavy, heavy contact on Falanico. And Australia win the penalty. How about the work from Nathan Lawson making up for his missed chance in the first half big time? Yeah. That's where the slight bit of inexperience perhaps from Samoa, as let's incredible yeah, as they've been in this tournament, to know they've got a man up. Australia now going to use every single second of their 30 they're allotted from this restart. Kick it down, walk to the line out, absorb that Simbin time. Samoa could have just took a little bit more face plates to build that up. We move on now. Two minutes 30 approaching, there's still a lot to go in this game. The pass line out throw from Longbottom to Turner, dangerous for Roach. Almost self destructing there, Australia. Hutchison's chopped to the floor. Here's Longbottom at scrum half again. Turner, they're going to kick Hold. again here. In oh, behind Samoa, they had a sweeper back, a sort of mid sweeper. It's Paul Scanlon, he'll get there first, but here comes Longbottom on the chase with Turner. He kicks in response. Hold. 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 Extraordinary, you rarely see. Yeah, thank Kicking you. games you, like this in rugby All sevens them. offside yeah, Samoa, yeah. so works out well for Australia. Yeah. You have the well, very rarely you see two kicks in sevens, but essentially here? when the kick was made from Samoa, the person who kicked it has to put the rest of the players onside. So the choice oh, now yeah. is you have a yeah, let's go penalty let's there go. or a scrum over kick from. Either way, the clock has been wound down. Big call from Samoa to kick that back downfield. It might well be a bad one. Still playing with six, Australia. Here's Corey Tool. Runs into a heavy double tackle. Now we saw this earlier with Corey Tool. Well, now Australia that's a have engaged now. Exactly. As soon as Roach touches it, it's a maul. Nick Hogan's been sticking to his book throughout this. He's got that one wrong. As soon as another player touches the maul, uh, touches the play, it becomes a maul. Yeah, this should be a, a maul and a decision with the scrum for Samoa. Don't have to wait for it to get to the sideline. Australia have almost let them have the ball there, and then Samoa have knocked it on. Well, listen to this. Yes, thank you. Yeah, I think that says it all. I get what the players are trying to do. In brief summary, as soon as two players from an attacking side are created in a ball, Above the floor, yeah, it's more that was unplayable, it was a turnover. But we move on. At sevens, the action continues. Four. Sorry. Big decision. We'll just get these subs done. Big we'll just over here on the five like. legs. Nick Maloof, Kick Australian yeah. captain, is back on the field. Yeah, we are now. They have possession. They have on, a seven point Three. lead. Sub. Sub. A minute to go. Let's go. Listen to the crowd. Yeah. Pretty obvious who the neutrals are supporting here. I want to see a comeback from Samoa if they did score a converted try. And it was level and regulation. It's a knockout game. We would go to Golden Point. Six. Mark Morris Longbottom. Can feed this scrum. Australia will manage the clock here. Back to Turner. 
Now Ben Dowling. He didn't start the game. He often does. Longbottom. Skips inside. Matavau. Morris Longbottom. Half break over his shoulder into the hands of Matavau. Brilliant intervention. From the Manu Samoa scrum half. A chance for Samoa here. Inside the final 30 seconds. Can they find seven points? Here's the number seven Matavau. Tool holding him up. A reload from Samoa on a side kicks. But getting back is Corey Tool for Australia. He's got the pace to get away. Five seconds to go now. They can just almost walk this to the sideline. Hutchison sets up the breakdown. Tool dinks it over the sideline. The crowd voiced their opinion. But Australia won't mind a jot. They are into the semi-finals. Heartbreak for Matavau and Manu Samoa. Just one converted try was enough for Australia. A lovely moment there, Matt Gonzalez comforting Malani Matavau. That's what it's all about, folks. Australia progress. They are through to the last four. They will play South Africa in the semi-finals. They have won this one by seven points to nil. Well, it wasn't pretty, but it's still winning. Australia, march on.